Tilio the champs and have a look here we have the Radeon RX 6900 XT and not only that this is the best RX 6900 XT you know why because it's a Strix and yeah Strix are the best actually I have a few graphics cards sent out look at this 3070 Strix the best RTX 3070 you're gonna get Strix are the best I'm telling you now believe me and I put my money where my mouth is because this is my graphics card. I actually will be comparing, not in this video, another video, the RTX 3090 versus 6900 XT, Strix, the best of the best, and which one's better. I paid my own money for this one. I wanted a 3080, but um, yeah, there was no 3080s. I actually want a 30, another 3080. I want a Strix, of course. I actually did have a 3080, it was Gigabyte, and yeah, I, I want the Strix version. Just give me the Strix. So anyway, I don't even know what this video is other than flexing. I do have a 3060 as well, 3060 Ti, I think that is. But let's have a look at this. I wanna see if it works in a Mac. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I've gotta put it on eGPU. How am I gonna do that with this? There should be some fan headers in my um, external eGPU or Thunderbolt enclosure, so I should be able to power those fans off that. I don't know, but yeah, this is the thing, right? This is water cooled. It's got its own separate cooler. And you slot that in there and you put this in your case, I guess. Of course, it's a 6900 XT, the best you can get from uh, AMD there. And of course, it's a Strix. You'll be able to hammer this, uh, overclock it. It'll be quiet. It has all the RGB features, everything. You know, look at that. That's a full copper, cold plate, full coverage. They make the best machine. They've got the best machining, like not just for laptops and stuff, even the machining for this. They've really spent a lot of money on machining of metals and it shows in their laptops and even their cold plates they have the best contact with the actual die and because it's brand new that's what it's about because it's a brand new one and it hasn't been opened the rule is at Talio Tech is if it hasn't been opened I unbox it okay how's this gonna be greeting me all right cool nice protective foam there at the front we have your CD I think What's in there? Whatever your literature, there doesn't seem to be anything else. It's just your standard literature. We have these cool stickers. You reckon I can flog them? I flog them, give them to my son. You reckon they'll care if I take them? So this is very interesting to me because I've definitely never had a water cooled graphics card. My friend has done that. He done it on his own accord. And there you can see. Oh, so you've got the Looks like a 260 rad there with two fans and then you have the graphics card here i don't think that's going to go on an eGPU it's definitely not going to go on an eGPU yeah well, maybe we'll see we'll see if we can do it it's not made for an eGPU if it's not going to fit i'm not going to try it i mean so i'll just take that out of there and holy mother of mercy is a big stonking unit there wow there's the I'm not messing with it too much, but um, oh, I knew when the box come out. Oh Jesus, that is a big boy. That is a big boy, and we've even got a big boy cooler there. Oh my God, three! It takes three PCI Express things. That means overclocking to the max, right? You know that is hardcore. That's serious. Remove protective film before use, and both fans have an RGB header and also we have the fan header. I think this is pretty cool because I'm thinking I just plug these into each other and all the power will actually come from the actual unit itself. We'll have to test that out. I think that's how it's gonna work. All right, time to put this beast in my PC and I have to take out my white Strix. I'm very sad about that. I hate taking that out of my main system because I love that RTX 3090 Strix. But this 6900 XT is going to be the best one you get. Now you can see there, it's in here. I've actually put the cooler on top because I don't want to, you know, take out my fans to have a graphics card temporarily in my system. But here's the thing. Yes, you will need a case big enough. So I could easily put it at the front of my case. I could take those fans out and I could put this, you know, 240 red there. So you want to make sure, you know, you've got enough room for, you know, maybe your liquid cooling of the CPU and the GPU. You know, if we talk about clock speeds, it's 2,365 megahertz. That's the boost clock, game clock, 2135. Don't worry about that crap. I turned it up to maximum 11, and I was getting like 2.7, even up to 2.8 gigahertz. Yes, wolf. 
this thing was flying and it only actually crashed when I turned everything to maximum so the amount it would allow you to do had everything maximum and that's the only time it crashed and as you can see here I used the Asus tweak because Afterburner would not let me increase the core clock so I had to use the Asus software which is easy to use you're going to see some gameplay my first gameplay with this but first I'll show you where it crashes now this is everything turned up to max now and you can see the boost clocks getting up there to the 2.7 this is everything max this is medium settings 1440p now at this overclock state maximum it actually got less fps than if i just backed it off a little bit yes i did benchmark it. it's not as fast as the 3090 but maybe if you have an amd system and have smart share maybe you can sort of match it but for what i tested no the 3090 in this game is faster but thermals you can see like 54 55 like the thermals out of this world you won't hear it at all it is virtually silent because all I can hear is my case fans and actually my uh, CPU fans. I cannot hear these fans at all. And what do you expect? It's got a radio, it's liquid cold, it's like 55 degrees. You're not going to hear the fans. So it's super silent. You're going to get the maximum out of it. You do have that 15% sort of power boost you can do, but that's about it, right? You can't add 30% or 20. You can just have 15% extra power. And yes, this is faster than the stock 6900 that I have made a video on. But the best thing is, is all the extra features you get with Strix, the RGB, the, you know, the headers on it. It's virtually silent. And yes, it's the same as every other one. It's, you know, one HDMI 2.1, one DisplayPort 1.4a and a USB Type-C. And there's two of those display ports, by the way. I would like to see two HDMIs. That's what I would prefer. If you want the best RTX 6900, get this. I'm going to stick with the Strix, the 3090. But this thing is amazing and I'll have more to come with this. So catch you in the next one. Tally ho. Mm -hmm.